Alright, for number nine, we once again have a shape inside of a shape problem. Um, so, but this time, both shapes are circles. So if I want to find the area in between, my strategy is going to be to take the bigger circle and subtract the smaller circle. Okay? In both cases, I need to do pi r squared. Of course, because they're both circles. Alright, well, let's uh, start with the big circle. Um, we got to be careful, okay? Because I got this 12, I got this 7, um, but neither one of those are the radius of the big circle. Um, so let's try to understand this. The radius of the big circle goes from the center all the way out to the edge. So that red segment I just drew would be the, uh, the radius of the big circle. So how long is that? Well, um, this part over here is 7. So you can see that right there. Now this part in here is 6. Uh, because I see the diameter is 12, so this uh, radius here is 6. So 6 plus 7 is 13. Alright, so that tells me that 13 is the length of the radius of the big circle. So when I do the area of the big circle, I'm doing pi times 13 squared which is 169 pi. All right, when I do the smaller circle, um, the radius is 6, as we discussed a moment ago. All right, the smaller circle has radius 6. So I'm just going to do minus pi times 6 squared. So that's going to be minus 36 pi. Now, I'm not going to leave these separate. These are like terms. They both have pi. So I can go ahead and put them together. So let's see, 196 minus 36. That's 160. So together, this is going to make 160 pi, uh, which as a decimal would be 502.65. Uh, and these are square meters. Okay, so that would be the answer to number nine.